Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between probably the two most popular micro bags from Dior. So I've got my beloved Dior Micro D Joy bag in this beautiful blush nude color that I've had for about a year or so now. And then I have my friend's Micro Lady Dior in this gorgeous baby yellow color. It is just such a dreamy color. I feel like micro bags have been so popular for a while now and I don't think they're going anywhere. They say mini bags are going away and big bags are coming back, but I think micro tiny cute bags are still gonna be in fashion for a little while because they're just so, so beautiful. I have to say both of these bags are definitely not practical by any means, but they are just so adorable. I feel like anyone who is considering a dual micro bag, I think a lot of people are usually debating between these three styles. So I hope this video is helpful if you're in that situation. So I'm gonna show you the classic Lady Dior Micro first up close. I'll show you all of the details. So this, I'll insert the size on screen. Your website does have measurement. So it is tiny little bag with three knudge quilting patterns. You've got the Dior charm here, which is quintessentially Lady Dior. And the back is just plain. It does come with two little top handles. These top handles are a little too small for your hands to fit through. So it is just a top handle and not crook of the arm bag by any means and then you've got four feet on the bottom so the bottom of the leather is protected and you've got this flap and inside is just a tiny little bag with a couple of things in there just got a couple of keys in there um, so that is the classic lady Dior. the DJ is ever so slightly wider so that is the size comparison there the width I have to say probably about the same and then the height the Lady Dior is ever so slightly taller and to show you the D-Joy in detail it does also have the Dior Charms which is exactly the same as what is on the Lady Dior Micro and then I've just got this Twilly on it, Mita on it that my brother got for me for my birthday last year and then the back is just plain just like the Lady Dior and the bottom the biggest difference is that the DJ doesn't have any feet, so if you're someone who likes to have feet on your bags, then the Lady Dior Micro is the way to go. And this one also has a flap. And inside, I am keeping my both straps. So the DJ actually comes with two separate straps instead of just the one. It comes with this dressy short shoulder chain with a leather tab at the top for comfort. And it also comes with the adjustable leather strap. The DJ leather strap is ever so slightly longer, as you can see. I'd say about five centimeters. As a crossbody bag, definitely the DJ bag will be a better option. But as a shorter bag, I think either way you cannot go wrong. I just noticed one more thing. The clasps are different. So on your Lady Dior, the clasp is, I think it looks more substantial. It's that proper clasp. Whereas the DJ clasp, I think it looks a bit cheap to be honest. It has that little clip. I don't know. It kind of doesn't look that nice, but I mean, it does the job. The other thing I noticed while I was attaching the straps is the Lady Dior, you have to attach the strap like on your normal Lady Dior bag, just on your rings here where the handles go. Whereas the D Joy, I guess because of the shape of it, it actually has separate D rings where your straps attach to. So I guess that is. A difference so that is basically the logistics of the both bags in terms of what fits the big pro of the DJ micro is that if you have a regular sized iPhone or any smaller smartphone you can actually fit the phone because it is the east-west elongated size shape whereas with the micro lady Dior you cannot fit any phone in it Yes, you can this way, but it's just going to stick out and you won't be able to use the top handles at all. So that is one big difference in terms of the capacity. But everything else, once you have your phone in here, all you can fit is just 
a card holder, a couple of lipsticks and maybe some small keys. So I have to say capacity wise, definitely the DJOY is a little bit better because you do have the versatility and option to carry your phone in it. Other than that, both bags are so small, you definitely can't keep much in them. Let me just quickly talk about the pros of each bag. With the Micro Lady Dior, the pros, I think personally that this one is cuter. It's just that perfect square. I think just aesthetically, this one definitely is such a much cuter bag. Another big pro, like I said, you've got the feet. So I don't know, I think there's just a vibe with this one. Whereas the D-Joy doesn't look as cute, but the big pro is that you can fit a phone. So I don't know, depending on what is important to you, it's a micro bag anyway. So if you don't mind just carrying your phone in your hand, which we normally do anyway, then I think just on the looks alone, the Lady Dior is just so much prettier, I think. But I went for the practicality. I did want that hands-free option in case I want to keep my phone in it. So if you're someone like me, then the DJOY is a great option. In terms of the price point, they are pretty comparable. But I believe the Lady Dior Micro is still a few hundred dollars more retail than the DJOY. I guess it has the fit and also it is their iconic bag. The DJOY I feel like is here to stay, but it definitely doesn't have the same classic status. But in saying that micro bags, if you say that they're a face, then you know you could argue that these are sort of trendy bags anyway. So the choice is really up to you in terms of what is important to you. Another thing, they come in a variety of beautiful colors. I definitely recommend picking one of these up in a fun color. I like that my friend picked up this beautiful yellow color. I went a bit boring and went sort of blushy nude color. I kind of wish I went with a more fun color, but at the time when I picked it up, I was missing a bag in this sort of a color in my collection. So it does fill a gap in my collection but if I had to get another one I definitely go something fun like this it just is a bit of a statement considering its small size all right let's put the both bags to the test and see how much each one will hold since the DJOY is my bag I know exactly how much I can fit in it so let's do this one first that is the bag completely empty like I've mentioned you'll be able to fit a phone mine is the iPhone 15 Pro not the max size any larger phone won't fit this is basically the longest thing that will fit in this bag. I've got my card holder, a car key, a lipstick, a tiny little hand cream, and some keys on top. And that is basically at more than full capacity. Let me show you up close. So you can definitely fit these things in, but it is definitely a tight fit. And you can close the flap. There we are. That is this bag full. And let's see how much of this we can fit into the Micro Lady Dior. All right, let's open this little cutie up. We definitely know that the phone will be out of the question. You can slip it in this way, but you won't be able to close the phone at all. But I guess that is an option. It definitely won't fit sideways. So let's take the phone away. You can still fit a card holder, a car key, a lipstick, a little hand cream, some keys. And I feel like that is at full capacity. But since it is a little bit taller, there is space at the top of the bag. So you can potentially fit one more lipstick in. There we go. So that is everything that was in the DJ minus the phone plus an extra lipstick. And that is a pretty full bag now. Let me take that extra lipstick back out so you can see everything that is in there. And then I'm just gonna quickly show you what they look like on me so you can see what both bags look like on. All right, so this is what both bags look like carried as top handle bags. Both very cute. I think both work really well with a more monochromatic look that I've got going today. This is what they look like worn as the shorter bags. Like I mentioned, both are on their longest setting. So the Micro Lady Dior is a little bit shorter, but I think it suits the shape of this bag. Whereas 
the deer joint is slightly longer so I guess if you're a little bit taller this strap length might be a little better for you and I guess the other way to wear the deer joint is that it does come with a shorter strap I don't like wearing it like this I think it's a little bit too lady like to prevent proper but if you are wearing an evening attire that's a good option so that is what the bags look like on me you can definitely crossbody the DJ, whereas I think the Lady Dior actually that doesn't look too bad, but it definitely will sit really high. So you can crossbody both bags, but that's what they're gonna look like. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about wear and tear. I haven't used mine as much, I guess, but it hasn't had any color transfer or wear on the leather. They're both in the lamb skin. Also, this is a slightly darker color, so I can't see anything. Whereas my friend has just pointed out to me that her beautiful pale yellow color has unfortunately gotten some color transfer, but this is her fun bag, so she doesn't care. But we just needed to show you that if you go with a pale color like this, Unfortunately, the lamb skin, as durable as they say your lamb skin is, you are going to get some color transfer. And I saw some corner wear too. So that is what might happen. So that was my very quick comparison between the two very cute bags from Dior. If you have any questions about any of these bags, do leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this comparison and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today again. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys!